As you know, the Regenment Hub is basically this ecosystem that includes so many different components that are really trying to lead the way to bring more regenerative medicine technologies to patients. So that includes, of course, the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine, what other research that is being done here, but also all the technologies that are being uh, worked on for translation into patients. And the question is, how can we make sure that we keep advancing these technologies to patients? And how can we make sure that more patients can benefit from these technologies? And that is really why REMDU, the Regenerative Medicine Development Organization, is really taking a lead now in our city for a global outreach, uh, which is now actually more than global. Now it's in the outer space. Uh, and so we're going to have to change our logo by global outreach. Uh, but basically, it's really how to make sure that we can keep supporting regenerative medicine efforts worldwide and how to bring these technologies forward. And we do that through many different areas. We have a test bed here, which is a test bed that has had investments of millions and millions of dollars from industry. So they could actually be here developing the next emerging technologies for manufacturing. Because as these technologies get manufactured, we wanna make sure that we can automate the technology at the same time that we innovate technology. So it's not just innovation and research, but also innovation and manufacturing. And that testament has attracted major uh, companies to the area that are actually supporting the testbed so that startups and emerging companies and companies developing the new technologies for the future can use that testbed for manufacturing. And when they're using that testbed, they can create their prototypes right there in our testbed, free of charge, with no cost of space, and no cost for the equipment. And in doing so, those prototypes can be developed. And then when those companies, those startups and emerging companies and companies are actually established and look at new generation products, when they're ready to create their prototypes, they're gonna to go to those initial companies that made investment in a test bed and use their equipment and their know-how. And it is that interaction between industry in the test bed and these companies in the RegenMed hub that will lead us to the next generation of products as they develop the new technologies for the future of manufacturing. So everybody wins. And here in Winston-Salem, we win because we have all these elements here together in one place. And that's the beauty of the Regenerator that includes the test bed, the workforce development program, and this, uh, the, the uh, accelerator, innovation accelerator that Axiom is taking apart, that Axiom is joining uh, now. This is actually a major event for us, I mean, Axiom joining us, it really is. The next frontier is manufacturing space. And the reason for that is that it has to do with bringing new technologies that we can manufacture in space that will make it better for treatments here on Earth. That's the first thing. And the second is that we can actually develop technologies that can help our space travelers and our uh, folks who are actually in space. So this is actually a major initiative for us to bring regenerative manufacturing to space. And we couldn't ask for a better partner than Axiom. They currently have, the, as you know, they, they, they have their first private mission to the space station right now. They're up there right now. Private astronauts are right now in the space station working away and they're gonna be coming back to Earth this coming week. And as you know, Axiom has been, they're the, the, uh, the entity that will actually build the next international space station as the current space station gets to commission. So it's exciting for us to be able to partner with Axiom 